good morning all previous lecture we saw the dramatic transformation and its types now today we are seeing going to see the composite matrix or concatenated matrix now let's see it is the combination of two or more transformation like translation rotation scaling and reflection a single transformation matrix known as a composite matrix this combination of transformation into single matrix improve the performance of graphic packages uh, consider if we are doing operation like scaling or moving an object over the computer screen like uh, panning any object onto the screen then this is called a composite matrix that is behind the operation is performed that is a scaling translation rotation like we are zooming pictures in mobile is called a scaling operation this kind of matrix composite matrix is used to do such operations in mathematical formation which is displayed in the computer or mobile display so this is a very important topic composite matrix now here we see the example now how we can this uh put it into the matrix formation or in mathematical formation consider a point p of xy consider a point p of xy is to reoriented to new position p dash of x2 y2 by rotating first and then scaling here the two operation is performed that is rotation and scaling then the composite transformation can be given as p p dash equals to matrix of s matrix of r and uh, function p again or p dash function is uh, matrix of city multiplied by p function here where the r matrix is nothing but rotation matrix s matrix is a scaling matrix and the ct is composite matrix in given by ct matrix equals to rotation matrix multiplied by trans uh, scaling matrix that is with respect to r multiplied by s now in the mathematical formulation or with the help of the uh variables we can form this matrix s matrix and r matrix in following way that is matrix of sx 0 0 sy multiplied by uh, cos theta minus sin theta sin theta cos theta okay rotation matrix which is deals with the angles and that can be represented to cos theta and sin theta when the scaling matrix can be formulated in terms of x and y now that again further solved is that uh, multiplication of both these two matrix you will give the result xx multiplied by cos theta minus sx multiplied by sin theta sy multiplied by sin theta sy multiplied by cos theta which is nothing but the composite matrix now coming back to the two dimensional geometric transformation using homogeneous coordinate system before going to the no uh, coordinate system uh, what is the uh, coordinate system that would like to know by uh, would like to know by you yourself guys uh, first of all the coordinate system is nothing but anything which is correlated with the x y z the axis system is is called uh, coordinates and there is a types of coordinate system that is a local coordinate system and a global coordinate system and both these come to into homogeneous coordinate system so first of all you will see this is a need of homogeneous coordinate system the composite matrix are obtained by combining two or more transformation together while doing so some transformation like translate use addition and some multiplication this make it inconvenient to composite the transformations hence in order to make it convenient for composition it is desirable to express all the transformation in the form of matrix multiplication only 
This can be effectively achieved by representing the points by their homogeneous coordinates. So 